welcome to my world of profitability. My name is Gloria Ogaga. I am a real estate broker here in the city of Lagos. I am the privileged lead consultant of Lagos Landed Properties and Love Home. So today, I am glad to continue what we started last year. You know, I had to make a lot of, you know, loading, loading, ding, ding, loading, loading, a lot of loading for those who needed to quickly do some investment during the end of year so i had to post this uh, part of our real estate technologies terms and technologies and uh, today i am excited no by now you should know i'm always an excited person so i am excited to bring to you my highly esteemed investors a continuation of what we started the other time real estate tips and technologies and today i am um, talking continuing it's a continuation of our previous uh, video on joint ventures now i'm going to drop a link in the description box of what we have discussed on real estate joint ventures before i would advise i strongly advise you watch it so you know what you can grasp the full understanding of what we're talking about so we're going to continue uh, the advantage and the disadvantages and how this can benefit you watching me all right so today quickly i want to talk about first of all you know me i'll tell you the truth you know first thing first first of all what you should know now is there are disadvantages to joint ventures and i'm going to tell you like drop it like it's hot <laughs> all right so what are the disadvantages disadvantage number one the objectives are unclear you understand at times um, they don't they don't put it in plain terms that's one of the disadvantages of investing in um of going into joint ventures another disadvantage is the communication is not really great because of course this one is just waiting uh, you now let me come up this one is just like ah this one is just do you understand times the communication is not such a great one like a deep kind of uh, communication like business and uh, partners kind of communication the other disadvantage is that the two uh, in investors like two partners have two different uh, expectations this one is just waiting for that shit here you understand why the other one is just doing another thing so it is at times these are the kind of disadvantages number one the communications are not great the other one the objectives are not clear the other one is the um, the different partners expect different things of course now we expect different things from the business another disadvantage is that the level of expertise and the level of in, uh, investment are not matched they are not equal to you get now for instance the level of investment and expertise are not matched these are disadvantages like if you think if you are a if you think a lot, that's going to be a form of discouragement to you for you not to go into the adventure and as a disadvantage. The other disadvantage is that the work and the uh, resources, resources rather, are not uh, distributed equally. Yes. See, at times the landowner is just sitting like a pub doing nothing. Why the other person, the, the investor, the, the developer is the one doing a lot of all those work and all of the plenty, plenty. So these are the disadvantages of joint ventures. So guys, what you should do now, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? So, ma, action. It's not going to take for your data. Can you subscribe? Like. Turn on the bell notification because um, uh, every information I bring to you is solely from my heart to help you create wealth, not just wealth, transgenerational wealth. Don't you love me already? <laughs> All right. So the next topic now is the advantages. Opa, 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 opa. One of the advantages is that you have 
shared resources. I have the land, you have the money to build, yes. So it's shared resources. Yes, that's one advantage. Another advantage is access to additional capital. You get like investing in the Vermont here, yeah, Vermont being on smart estate now for as low as 18 million naira. And two, three, four, five years later, when it's selling for as high as 300 to 400 million naira, you now say uh, somebody comes and come and build on it. So, you know, access to additional capital, you get. Even if you want to sell it at that point, or more, you have, uh, the advantage is access to additional capital. You get, yeah, you came early. Early birds always have the advantages. The other, the other advantage is shared expenses. Yes, I have the land. You have the, you, so it's not like you're coming to buy it from the scratch and building it to get. So that's that's going to be. That amount. For instance, right now, the Vermont Green and Smart Estate is selling her uh, 500 square meters for the commercial plot for just 20 million 500,000 naira. That's 20.500,000 naira for commercial uh, properties. Now, if, they, if someone is coming to uh, invest, maybe four, five years later, someone is coming, that property is now selling for as high as three to four hundred million naira. You have shared expenses. You are not going to start buying the land for three to four hundred or three billion naira to start building. You have shared resources as well, so it's an advantage. Risk. The other advantage is shared risk. You are not you're not buying everything from the you, you are sharing the risk of whatever comes. Another advantage is for you that is a landowner. You have access to knowledge and skills. You understand? So it is the advantages overweigh the disadvantages because the disadvantages, if well noted and well documented, can be avoided. You know, everything can be avoided if well documented and you know the, the disadvantages are not so even a, a life threatening. For the advantages, guys. So this thing, this video was um, this video was necessary because of a client's um, question. He was asking, "What do you prefer? I get a land or a house?" That I would be answering in another video. Yes, you don't want to miss it. Should you invest in a land now? Or you should buy a house and already built house. I am going to be answering all of those questions in our next video. For you to get your investment right, you have to acquire all the knowledge you need to know for you to get your investment right. And that is why you should subscribe now and turn on the bell notification so whenever I drop it, you'll be the first to get to know about it. Until then, I am Gloria Ugaga. I am a real estate broker. I am passionate about you. Owning not just properties, but wealth creative properties. Much more transgenerational wealth creative properties. So until I see you again, bye.